Welcome back everyone to another Warzone 2.0 video. Today we're looking at the best PC settings you guys can use for graphics. A lot of these are going to actually help you with your performance as well and I actually have some extra tips for you guys coming out really really soon. But today's video is specifically made for PC players. If this video helped you guys out in any sort of way make sure you guys drop a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado let's go straight into my PC settings. Alright guys starting things off in the display mode we have this set to full screen exclusive. I recommend you guys use this. It's going to give you the most refresh rate your monitor can push. I have my monitor as my LG you guys use whatever main monitor you guys game on my display adapter is my 3060 my screen refresh rate is at 74 uh it's basically a 75 hertz monitor display resolution is 1920 by 1080p if you guys do want to actually play the game uh you know not sandwiched i recommend you guys put this on 1920 dynamic resolution i have set to off now you guys can turn this on if you guys have a lower end pc but if you guys have like somewhere in the middle or more you probably don't need to turn this on aspect ratio is on automatic I have my v-sync for menus and gameplays turned to off custom frame Rate limit actually have this set to 150 in the game uh you can actually set your menu to 60 but i have mine at 130 because why not if you guys' shaders did not load in right and you see some frame rate issues, you guys can try restarting your shaders. This actually might help a lot. Um, but the main issues of the game right now are more so RAM issues. Uh, so shaders probably aren't going to do too much. But hey, you guys can give it a shot. It might actually fix something. I have my display gamma on 2.2, my brightness on 53. And I also have my constrained mouse to game window off. This makes it really easy for recording and streaming. Over to the quality settings, we have my quality presets and custom. I'll go over those in a second. My render resolution is 1920 by 1080p, of course. Uh, my upscaling, sharpening is Fidelity FX um, CAS. This is actually really, really good. Now, keep in mind, if you guys are having some frame drops, you guys might want to change this to DLSS. Uh, this could actually help you guys if you guys have an NVIDIA card. If you guys don't, then I just recommend you guys use this one. This is the best appearing one, in my opinion. Um, DOSS does give you more performance, but the game does not look as sharp. The lines aren't as crispy. So if you guys want those crispy, you know, sharp, defined lines, I recommend you guys use this one. And I also have this set to 65. Anti-aliasing is on SMAAT2X. I have my uh, quality on low. Uh, this is just to get the best performance out of the game. And you guys are going to see throughout the rest of these settings, these, these are all just basically set to low. I don't have anything on high or even normal. Uh, but my video memory scale is set to 60. Um, just to sort of give it enough, but not too much to where a lot of my background apps can actually run well. But a lot of you guys, if you guys don't run background apps, if you guys don't record or stream or anything like that, you guys can actually just bump this up to around 80 and you'll be perfectly fine. Going through the details and textures, you guys can see these are all low. I have this one on short, very low. Uh, bullet impacts and sprays is off. I have shade of quality low. Like, yeah, basically everything here is low. Now, I do have terrain memory maxed out. And that's because I heard that if you actually turn your terrain memory to max and in your NVIDIA settings, turn your shader cache to 100, it actually makes the game run better. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't want to actually say anything until I confirm it. So that's why I actually run it at max. If you guys are having problems, you guys probably should just go ahead and turn this to minimum. On demand texture stream, you have set to off. My streaming quality is low. And yeah, like I said, all of these are low. These ones are off as well. Spark cache I actually have set to high. Uh, this is also something that somewhat improves performance. Like I said, I can't really confirm if this does or not. We'll make some videos on this in the future on just these topics alone. But I heard spark cache actually helps if you uh, go into your NVIDIA settings and turn your uh, shadow cache up to 100 as well. I heard it gives, you know, gives your game more room to work, which increases your FPS. I don't know how, how true that is. So like I said, I don't want to uh, actually say that until i confirm it but that's why i have this at the high but if you guys are having issues like i said you want to set everything to low particle lighting is low ambient inclusion i have set to off as well my screen space reflections off low off you guys get the idea nvidia reflex low latency i actually recommend you guys have this on do not turn this off it's going to help you have better performance and a faster uh, response time from your graphics card to your monitor so definitely make sure you have this on you don't really need to have it on boost unless you have like a really good pc uh, if you guys have like somewhere on a medium or low end you guys really only need on but hey if you guys want to try on plus boost go for it and the rest of these settings are set to off and film grain is at 0.00, .00. As for my field of view, I have this set to 120 as always. My ADS field of view is set to affected. This is actually really good if you guys are trying to get that no recoil feel to the game. Weapon field of view is set to wide. This actually makes the game appear smaller, which can be really good if you guys are tactical sprinting. You want to, you know, see as many enemies as possible. Definitely make sure you guys have this set to wide. Third person field of view, that's all personal preference. I don't really play the third person game mode, so I have mine still set to 80. Vehicle field of view, I have this set to wide as well. For the camera movement, I recommend you guys set these to 50%. This is going to help if you guys get hit by a precision strike or a cluster strike or mortar strike. Uh, anything that makes the game, you know, shake, is going to have less shake and allow you to actually focus while shooting. Uh, after having this up to 100% is going to definitely give you a realistic feel to what it's like to try to shoot while getting precision striked. 
but if you guys are trying to actually have accuracy and see what you're looking at I recommend you guys turn this down to 50% and for the rest of these I have my third person ADS and I have game perspective on my default spectator camera so those right there are my PC settings I'm using right now I'll let you guys know any updates for if they actually fix some of the problems I know a lot of you guys are probably here for solutions to frame drop issues and crashes today's video was not really a solution video it was just more so of my settings and what I'm actually using in the game right now but don't worry I have a video coming out really soon on all the things you guys can do to make the game run way way better and stop stuttering and crashing so with it being said if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace love and understanding always